What Wall Street 1T tell you in 2018? Expect the unexpected buckle, up. It has gonna be a wild ride by Greg Gunther of Daily Reckoning Rejoice, investors. Prediction season is upon us. The financial web is now brimming with bold prognostications for stocks, bonds, commodities, and which celebrity is next in line to kick the bucket. Everyone from big bank analysts to lowly bloggers is taking a stab at what 2018 will unleash on unsuspecting investors. But the yearly ritual always ends in disappointing, mundane projections. No one has the guts to stick their neck out and predict a huge move in the markets. Just look at how Wall Street analysts prepped for 2017, exactly one year ago. The S&P 500 was resting just below 2,300. Trump's unexpected win was still a fresh concern on Wall Street's mind. No one knew what to think about the markets heading into a new year, as political uncertainty reared its ugly head. Naturally, all the very serious analysts used political excuses to hedge their bets. Almost no one thought the major averages would gain any traction in 2017. In fact, every single one of the big banks predicted a boring year for stocks. Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and Bank of America Merrill Lynch analysts set their year-end S&P targets at 2,300. Barclays and J.P. Morgan prognosticators were a bit more bullish. Both set their S&P 500 targets at 2,400. Prudential employed the only analyst who was hitting the eggnog last December. He posted a 2017 year-end price target of 2,575 for the S&P 500. If this outlier prediction were to come true, it would work out to a gain of more than 10% for the S&P over the next 12 months. Shocking. But investors, and the major averages, had other ideas. Fast forward just one year and the S&P is higher by nearly 20%. The Nasdaq is up more than 27%. And a little known cryptocurrency called Bitcoin is approaching $20,000. Who saw that coming? The S&P eclipsed Wall Street as conservative 2,300 target by early February and never looked back. The index smashed through 2,400 in May. Finally, it door passed 2,575 by the end of October. None of the street's mundane predictions even came close. No matter how much data anyone uses to back up their bets for 2018, even the best predictions are nothing but empty guesses. Once again, no one is predicting a big move in stocks higher or lower. Most of Wall Street's 2018 economic and market forecasts are interchangeable with those from last year, Baroness notes. And the year before that, and the year before that. But I don't blame these analysts for their wimpy market guesses. After all, every one of them is smarter, better educated, and much more important than I claim to be. They all know how to play the game. In the button-down world of Wall Street, you don't make bold calls. If you want to keep your job, you blend in with the herd, that's not how we're all here at Root HQ. This week, we're tossing these lame analyst predictions to the curb. Instead of boring you with flat, single digit S and P predictions, we're slapping you in the face with some of our wildest market guesses for 2018. Stocks. Commodities. Bitcoin. Maybe even a few surprises our boldest market calls for 2018 are on the way every day this week. Buckle up. It's gonna be a wild ride.
cryptos, opportunity of a lifetime, or the most obvious bubble ever. Cryptocurrencies are amid a speculation frenzy, as every man and his dog hopes to get rich from cryptocurrencies, without any consideration of what a blockchain is. Given the very evident symptoms of a spectacular bubble, how can educated investors claim that buying cryptos is a rational decision? What has the deal? Proponents argue that one should think of them as a currency rather than an investment asset. They have a point, fiat currency is also not backed by anything and only has value, because of people less faith in it. So why can't e-cryptos be the same? There are already people and businesses in existence that accept it. And in many ways cryptos are superior to fiat currency, they are decentralized, have a limited supply, typically, and are impossible to counterfeit. Whilst it would be unprecedented, there is no hard and fast reason why a private currency cannot become the mainstream means of exchange. If cryptocurrency's future as currency is bright, there is arguably a strong case for investment. Demand rising faster, bad supply will cause them to appreciate. Consider this, the UK, US, and Eurozone money supply is 28 TRN in total. So if people decide to hold just half of their wealth in Bitcoin, for instance, as opposed to pounds, dollars, and euros, the value of Bitcoin in circulation will increase from its current market capitalization of 234B and a 14 TR and a rise of 5,900%. Don't buy Bitcoin just yet just because cryptos may become an accepted means of exchange does not mean that they are good investments now. One must consider whether they are currently overvalued, is one Bitcoin really worth $15,000? Or is this a price valuing the hopes of future mainstream adoption? The obvious danger is that if the future outlook for cryptos becomes less optimistic, their prices will be hit accordingly. Another concern is that investors have lost sight of cryptocurrencies underlying value as a means of exchange, and are fueling prices through speculation and greed. Again, this is obvious, but it seems like many need to be reminded of what a bubble is, perhaps due to them being too young to remember the dot-com bubble. Furthermore, this ever-increasing influx of speculative investors, and the increased volatility that ensues, actively undermine crypto's credibility as currency. Virtually no one, apart from criminals, actually uses Bitcoin for purchases. And lastly, even if cryptocurrencies prove to revolutionize payments, how does one know which will come out on top? There are already hundreds of cryptos, including 29 that have a market capitalization of over $1 billion. And with no limit on the creation of new ones, there will be stiff competition, especially from banks and other financial institutions which will likely find it easier to gain widespread acceptance. One should remember that during the dot-com boom, hundred start ups appreciated rapidly. And whilst Internet did end up changing the world, the vast majority of these companies ended up worthless. Cryptocurrencies are in the dangerous state of irrational exuberance, so one must be cautious if they decide to join in. A skyrocketing price can only be justified if it is accompanied by an appropriate level of real-world use and development. So should one invest? Cryptocurrencies are in their early days, making it impossible to know what to expect. For the prudent investor, it seems wise to avoid them for now. With all the many variants, and the many more that are to come, the odds of picking a winner are slim. Being patient enough to observe the evolving landscape of cryptos, 
and the regulations surrounding them will allow individuals to make better judgments on which digital currencies will be successful and hugely limits the potential for loss. After all, cryptocurrencies could turn out to be as worthless as tulips. Investors Prediction season is upon us. The financial web is now brimming with bold prognostications for stocks, bonds, commodities, and which celebrity is next in line to kick the bucket. Everyone from big bank analysts to lowly bloggers is taking a stab at what 2018 will unleash on unsuspecting investor 2017. In fact, every single one of the big banks predicted a boring year for stocks. Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and Bank of America Merrill Lynch analysts set their year-end S&P targets at 2,300. Barclays and J.P. Morgan prognosticators were a bit more bullish. Both set their S's. But the yearly ritual always ends in disappointing, mundane projections. No one has the guts to stick their neck out and predict a huge move in the markets. Just look at how Wall Street analysts prepped for 2017, exactly one year ago. The S&P 500 was resting just below 2,300. Trump's unexpected win was still a fresh concern on Wall Street's mind. No one knew what to think about the markets heading into a new year, as political uncertainty reared its ugly head. Naturally, all the very serious analysts used political excuses to hedge their bets. Almost no one thought the major averages would gain any traction in two. What Wall Street 1T tell you in 2018, expect the unexpected buckle, up. It has gonna be a wild ride by Greg Gunther of Daily Reckoning Rejoice.